the retired military official who lead the response to Hurricane Katrina, Lt. Gen. Russell Hunter, blasted President Trump for his attacks on the mayor of San Juan. The mayor's living on a cod, and I hope the president has a good day at golf, said Hunter, who is in Puerto Rico, on CNN on Saturday. Just two days ago, Hunter criticized Trump's response to Puerto Rico's recovery as evidence the president didn't care about poor people or people of color. The president has shown again he don't give a damn about poor people, he don't give a damn about people of color, said Hunter. In interviews with CNN on Saturday, Hunter said that bureaucracy and a lack of supplies were delaying Puerto Rico's rebuild, adding that the two most needed things were gas and communications. He called on ATT and Verizon to come and fix the island's communication system in rural areas. There's no reason why that system isn't better than it is in the outlying areas, said Hunter. He suggested a free tank of gas for all Puerto Ricans to help kickstart the economy and called on Walgreens to reopen their stores. Walgreens came in here and they dominate the pharmaceutical industry. Most of the stores are not open. They need to get generators and get those stores open. Get it open, people got to go to work which means we've got to get gas, he said. At least 150 helicopters are needed for distribution of food and supplies to outlying areas, according to Honor.The retired general also noted that there were not enough troops and workers available. We need more boots on the ground, he said. The retired general said fears of large National Guard contingent in Puerto Rico, but many of them are busy caring for families after the hurricane. If families were sent to military bases on the mainland, Hunter said, then National Guard members could get to work rebuilding. They're encumbered by the same thing the first responders are trying to work and trying to take care of their families, said Hunter. Bureaucracy is slowing down the availability of workers, according to Hunter who said mayors should be able to just hire workers, note down their hours, and pay them later. A lot of things could start happening, but you can't do it following the existing rules of commerce and government in the United States, said Hunter. Amber Jameson, 